It's dropping, man. And that's what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about PlayStation, y'all. Um, so before we even get started, I want to say thank y'all for, you know, listening and tuning in and everything like that. Greatly appreciate it. But I got to know and I got to ask you, when this PlayStation Plus new teardrop, are you guys going to be playing any of those PlayStation 1, 2, 3, and PSP games on your PlayStation 5? Are y'all guys going to be using that? So in the comments below, you know what I'm saying? Get down there and let me know if y'all excited for it, if y'all going to be using it or not. Mm-hmm. That's pretty mm-hmm. much a recap of what's been going on, what we've been talking about, the pleasures and tears uh, in Japan that dropped today. You know what I mean? It just like a... Right, right. But from, before we get to uh, that, because we didn't talk about that already in, in previous videos. So what we're going to talk about yeah. now is we do got some funky hot news. It's been leaked starting tomorrow that PlayStation is bringing back Days of Play. Now, I'm excited because I love when they do Days of Play. I love the discounts, but not only that, I love the little rewards that you get, like the avatars and the themes and everything like that. Like, that's what's really cool about it. I did like a lot of sharps on Sky Tide Gaming, the YouTube channel, and uh, people, I still get comments saying, hey, is this still available? Is this still that? And, you know, so I'm excited about that. But what you think, Diddy? What you think about the state of play? How does that make you feel that they're going to bring it back? Are you going to be buying any game that you've been looking forward to or that you wanted to buy you never got? Are you going to buy it now? Are you going to wait and hold off because it might be on the PlayStation Plus new tiers and everything like that? Just, just some games that you have. think... Mm-hmm, it, mm-hmm. Depends, it, depends, it depends what they have on there. You know, I mean, if it's games that they've been trying to push out for the low, you know, you've already been through them. Uh, as a PlayStation head... I damn near got almost all the games, so it ain't gonna be nothing that's gonna blow my mind really. Um, because I got a lot of the games, places instead of players. Um, it's just pretty much all the games that's for the love. And if you miss out on these games, you get your chance to get them. It's just like when they have the, they have places got deals all the time. You know what I mean? So this is just oh, another man. deal they don't throw at you. So you know, it's it's pretty much games that you missed out on. You want to check out, try out. So I, I'm not hype, hype, hype excited because. I'm, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. And I'm gonna keep it a hundo. I'm waiting for the new. You know what I mean? It's cool to reminisce. It's cool to be nostalgic and play the old stuff. That's cool. I got the PS5 to play the new. Not the PS5 to play the 1990 stuff and the 2000 stuff. I'm not I'm not hyped for that. But if you are hyped and you want to play some of these classic games that you, as a young generation, didn't have a chance to even experience because y'all weren't even born yet, this is your chance to feel and get the experience of PlayStation's history when it all began back in 95. You know what I mean? If you don't play any of them old, old games from 95 up until PS, P and PS Vita, and, uh, there's your chance to check them out. Right, right. So with the state of play, well, state of play, days of play, it's going to start on, rumor to start on Wednesday, and it's going to end... June 8th so you know just a couple and I know last year they had a couple of games that came out that if you could have waited you know if you didn't have them you know Dark Souls, Sackboy Marvel um, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Ratchet and Clank you know what I'm saying so it was a lot of games that they had that was like discounted so again for me I'm just excited to see what they how they gonna do this and then on the 13th that's when you know PlayStation uh the new plus supposed to drop so if i if i could say something i just really want them to have all the days of play this you know those to be different games but i'm excited because i've been wanting to pick up every controller that they have and this is another way to get it if you don't want to wait till black friday now what i did notice is around black friday time and around the days of play time, the controllers are almost the same price. So if they do do the controllers, half because they do have some physical stuff that they do for days of play that's on sale. If they cut them prices in half for the controllers, I'm definitely gonna pick up every last controller, all the new colors. And I hope they do it on the plates because again, I want all the plates as well. Um, I got a crazy idea how I wanna hang up the plates and everything like that. I actually seen somebody like wall mount just the PlayStation 5 plates. And it was it was it was pretty dope. So I might I might have to you know swing that into my uh my layer my dungeon if you like to call it you know. So that's what I'm excited for. Hopefully they give us some discounts on PlayStation Plus because uh, again I can definitely use some of those. 
Um, on to the next story, though. Again, it's still with dealing with that PlayStation Plus. Um, they did announce that in Asia, like Diddy was saying earlier today, in Asia right now, the games are it's already launched, and a couple of new features Yo. that I like. What up? What up? What up, Levi? A couple yeah, of new up. features that I like, y'all, from um the update that's in Asia right now, PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium is already out. So this this some stuff that you know that I like. The PlayStation Plus Classic games are available. You know, on top of that, they are trophy supported. So not only do you get the PS4 trophies, you get the PS5 trophies because how they listed it is where you get PS5 and PS4, and you can buy some of them right off the back. So let's say if you don't have PlayStation Plus and none of that stuff, you just want to buy it. The games are running anywhere from five to ten dollars. For them old games, I would say all should be five and under. I don't think none of them is worth ten dollars. I'm, but hey, so this is for the streaming service. I get, you know what I'm saying. You want to spend the money, you don't want to get the tears and everything like that. I say go ahead and, and buy. You know, um, now not all the games are gonna have trophy support at all, and that's cool. But what they did add though is they added some filters so that way you can change how the game looked to like retro so it could feel like you actually playing it on a PlayStation 1 and everything like that. They also added uh, what I'm kind of happy about is video resolution so that way it can play better. But people got great 4K TVs, people got great 8K TVs and you definitely want to, you know, see it better in its, in its glory. And last but not least, I think this is a feature that everybody going to use they added a ring wine button. Now, say you stuck on a level, you keep dying, right? And you finally beat that level and you just die at the end. Like, fuck, you gotta start all over. You can hit the rewind button and go ahead and do it again. So I, I like that feature a lot. It's actually a game I played that was like that. Was like, uh, this is just on all uh, the PlayStation 1 games. These are just like oh. the features that they added. Yeah, man. So, and it, just to give people a reason to actually, you know, hey, get that PlayStation Premium tier and everything like that. Um, and then one more thing they did add is you can save anywhere in a game, anywhere, anytime you want to save on your PlayStation One games, you can do that. And I, I think that's pretty awesome because you can be stuck on a level and you just want to just stay right there. You want to research something, you got to go or do something. You can just save anywhere, anytime. So I think that's a, I think that was uh, some cool features that they had and i know it's some old it's old diddy i know you don't care about it. you waiting for the hot new stuff and the drop and all that good stuff like that i get it i get it because damn it i agree with you ten thousand percent like i said there's no extra for us i've been saying that since they talked about it and um i definitely want to see some more exclusives come out for the playstation 5 but in the meantime in between time this is what they're giving us this is what i'm gonna play i get it man it ain't nothing but playstation uh now bro so it is i'm gonna keep it on oh, yeah. this place in now with some features be paying probably for the, the features real, i guess and, and, keep and, it and real man keep it real that, though, keep it now, it hundo. the only real thing that they added was that ubisoft plus that's the only thing that's new because i've been having I'm that right. for, since it came out you've been having playstation now PlayStation plus since it came out and the only thing that's new is this ubisoft plus that they added to the playstation uh extra and premium tiers so yeah, I'm not. I'm not hyped for it. I ain't gonna hold you, but you know, it's just something for like the new generation that missed out on the old stuff. You missed out on any of these old games that they're dropping PS One, Two, Three, and there's your chance to go jump, jump on them. I still think they're trying to uh, they compete and kind of or or trying to do something like with Xbox, uh, Xbox. Uh, what's that crap called? What's the Xbox thing called? Game Pass. Game, game, game Pass. pass. They're doing the PlayStation version of the Game Pass. Make it to where you know you can play all the old games and all that crap just without playing any of the new games. Just because places in the library is crazy. Places are now is it's places are now, man. Straight up, it's places are now. That's all I see it as. To be honest with you. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm I mean, it wasn't a lot of big news today, y'all. It wasn't a lot of big news today. It wasn't a lot of big news, and it's it's you know. I just wanted to get on here and we talking PlayStation. I told y'all every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we're going to come here and drop some for you guys to chop it up. Um, I know what's one I'm excited for. Um, and I think Levi, since you went here, I got to talk to you about it because I know you're a big Tekken head, and Tekken is actually coming with 
a platinum for the PS4 and the PS5 version. It's going to be Tekken 2. I think it's Tekken 2 that they bring in um, yeah, you know, PlayStation yeah. uh, Premium tier and everything like that. My question is, I've seen you get down. I got footage of you getting down, destroying okay. people. My question to you is, how do you feel about Tekken having that platinum? I don't, I don't know if you play for platinum or everything like that, but I know Tekken for you is your Dragon Ball Z for me. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So my yeah. question to you is, are you going to go for it all? You know what? I'm gonna download it. I don't know if I'm gonna get the service day one. To be honest, like I'm, I'm going to have the service eventually because I do really want to play Infamous. Not to get too off topic, but I really do want to play Infamous again. But um, as far as that Tekken goes, I'm, I'm interested to see how that plays because I haven't played Tekken. I don't think I've ever played Tekken two. Or no, I'm lying. I played Tekken two, but I haven't played Tekken two. In, I mean, dude, we're talking 21 odd years. Like, I haven't played Tekken 2 in a very long time. So I'm curious to see uh, how it holds up. If the Platinum is not too tedious, which it shouldn't be, it's only a fighting game, then who knows? I probably will go for it, just for the fuck of it. Right, right, if right. It's, if it's not too tedious, if it's not too tedious. But no Tekken Platinums are ever tedious. I mean, you just really got to play the game and beat it. But it's going to be a matter right. if, if folks could play that, you know, PS1, <laughs> PS1 Tekken. I mean, PS1 anything, man. It's going to be, it's going to be a very interesting experience to see how PS1 games really do play. Because I ain't played a PS1 in two decades, so. <laughs> Now, it's been leaked that, you know, they got the Summer of Games coming, right? And they've, it's been talks that Sony might drop some trailers there and also bring out another demo showing the PlayStation VR 2. What y'all think about that, man? Like, being fans of the VR, if you are or not, you know what I'm saying? So my question to y'all is, are you a fan of the VR? And if you are, for the VR 2, what do you want to see improved and make better and then we and i know we we talked about this already but they, again they just gonna show it off some more and we know it's gonna have some cores and everything like that because it ain't the oculus it ain't that facebook stuff i know right but what are you i did see that horizon game they got coming i think it's called it wild or so i don't know i don't, I don't want to say the name wrong but i know it's a horizon game that's coming for the vr too being that that's a exclusive, and we got the big PlayStation head in here right now, Mr. Sky Diddy himself. How do you feel about that? Um, as long as the, I mean, they in competition with Oculus. Oculus is the hottest VR thing out right now. Everybody got it. It's wireless, and you can take it anywhere. That makes it way better. So PlayStation got to get with. This. So it ain't gonna be wireless. So that's an L right there. Um, it gotta have. You got to support some kind of 4K or some kind of like, because the, the last VR that came out on the PS4, it was like PS3 graphics, but it's in VR. Oh. Um, not, not everybody in VR can take that type of, uh, you know, because a lot of cats get nauseous and, and they can't take the, the it's, it's real hot up in there and people only got like 15, 20 minutes of that before they just can't take it no more because the way they, the way they got it set up. So hopefully they learn from all the mistakes they did with the first one. Dumb down some of them cords and make that mug damn near 4K compatible. Um, so it can look real good. This, 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 this the VR too. The PS5 is the hottest console out with the best graphics uh, up to date. You can handle VR come out with no PS3 looking game or PS4 looking graphics. I so I'm gonna check on the VR. Do something to compete with the market. Gotta mm -hmm. compete with the market. I myself no, that's too ain't. big on. Uh, virtual reality game it's not too big on it but um i'm with diddy as far as it just needs to be significantly better i mean you should you should want to give people a reason to buy yours outside of the oculus you know right. what i'm saying don't know if the vr i don't even know if the vr headsets are that sought out but i do know that oculus people who aren't even gamers are playing it so you got to give, right. you got to give somebody a reason to want to get yours instead of the Oculus. So it can't be no BS games, can't be no BS graphics. You need to be able to do a little bit more than what you were able to do before. I mean, but it's Sony. They, they learn from their mistakes. You know, right. they learn from it. So mm -hmm. they never made mm -hmm. the same mistake twice. So I, I don't doubt that it'll probably be all right. I'm sure one of y'all get it and I'll come over there and play it, but mm -hmm. you know, I probably won't have it myself mm. true definitely gonna have a day one what i want to see is 
more triple A titles, more Sony Studio titles, games released on the VR2. Hey, you giving us a Horizon? Perfect. Now give us an Uncharted on there. Give us a God of War on there. Like now you become the eye. Like how they, how they did, you know, the Iron Man and, and the Batman and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? On the VR. But just take that idea and run with it. And I'm going to just keep it 100. Give me a Yu Gi Oh on there. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I think that'd be dope. It's VR. Why not? Give me a Tim Tim on there. Now I'm out here walking with my Tim Tim. It ain't Pokemon, but I, you know, I'm just saying like, if we're going to do this VR, let's make these games look AAA. Let's not have me spend. Mm -hmm. I, and I know y'all ain't forcing me to do this two, three, four hundred dollars or anything like that, but let's have it where, okay, he's spending this much. Let's get this man his money. Let's give him his money's worth. Yeah, his money's right. worth. Yeah. Yeah, which that other headset just was not worth it. That's why it went where it went. Just wasn't mm -hmm. worth it. Didn't know if um I didn't know if on that headset, I mean y'all will correct me if I'm wrong, but were you able to play all your games on it or only VR related games? Only VR. If you want to play in VR three three sixty degrees, then it's only VR games. You just wanna just mess around and play anything, it's a little screen in front of you which is the TV and you just play it like that and that's just a headache because the shit when you oh, move around yeah, yeah, well, the screen move around yeah. so you might just play it on a regular TV yeah Damn. well maybe that could be something that they could add make it to where I could I don't know I get like it wouldn't be hard to make it really immersive you know what I'm saying like really immersify the gamer into the world they do it with better graphics I'll tell you that much they will do it with better graphics Right, 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 right. We'll do it with better graphics. Oh, you one hundred percent right about that too. I definitely like the feature they had on there with the VR was watching uh, Netflix. I feel like that was like a whole being in your own personal movie theater. Because it was a big old screen every night that it gave you. So I personally think that was cool. In a VR, oh, I mean, and it, it is always oh, wrong, and it it's always wrong to improve. About that, oh wait, that was just. It, I mean, it was just, it, it just screen in the VR. It wasn't like you sitting in a, in, a, in a VR like living room. You know what I mean? With a screen right there, it was all black everywhere. It was black, black, black with a screen in front. That was weak. Now the old school Samsung VR when they first dropped that, you can go in like in a living room. You got a fireplace on the right side, left side. Got a kitchen, entertainment system, you sit on a red sofa, you can watch Netflix or whatever the case is, play so like little phone games. They put yeah. you in another well, reality I don't know. without I did the updates and everything, because I don't know when the last time you've been on your VR, because see, I still play B-Saver and everything like that, well, like my VR up to right now. Nah, nah, so nah, I watch nah. Netflix I about, and everything like that. I ain't talking about B-Saver. I ain't talking about B-Saver. I'm talking about games no, that's not I'm not talking about Netflix on there with the updates. It's a big ass movie theater screen. So I don't know when the last time, again, I don't know when the last time you played your VR or used it. So for me, it's I'm talking it was Netflix. Like, I'm talking about games. You're talking about games, games, games. Games is not VR. Like a regular game, like that's where it's not VR. Like you just play the game in the VR, but it's not VR. It's our black screen. It's black everywhere you look around you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Screen, when you play right. games that's not made for VR, you get a screen, everything else is all black Sam's around you. That one. I, the Samsung one, you in a room, and you can play. It's, it's, it's multiple rooms. You at the beach in one, you in the mountains in one, you the forest in one, and you can play your mobile games with your phone on there. Yeah, That's and that was, fun, so that, that was fun too. That, so that was fun too. That was, that actually was, had, that was on the, uh, the Samsung Galaxy S7 and the Note 7 before they started, you know, exploding. Yeah. I still yeah, got yeah. that mug in the box too. Damn near brand new because I ain't really used it that much. The phone gone. Just need the phone for it, but that was crazy. <laughs> but like, yeah, you know, like we've already said, man, they got to compete with, with what's hot out there. The uh, Oculus got commercials and everything for it. A lot of cats got it. Everybody keeps asking me, Diddy, did you get the Oculus? Diddy, you got the Oculus, the Oculus, the Oculus, the Oculus. It's so popular that people really like it. I tried it and I, and I played the Beat Saber in it. That crap dope. I played a boxer one too. That shit dope. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, it just got to compete with it. For somebody a reason. to buy it, you know what I mean? Want to buy it? Right, yeah, you got it. And, 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 and again, I agree with all that. Product out, so you gotta come with it, and it should be. You gotta come with it. I don't know who produces Oculus, but the way I look at it is this: Sony, PlayStation, being a video game company, 
there should be no reason why anything they produce that's video game related is bad. There should be no there should be no excuse to that. So I don't see True. why the VR couldn't be significant. I mean, hell, if you got to take another year off to, to perfect it, perfect it. Like, Let me ask y'all this. Right. Let me ask y'all this. Do you think Sony PlayStation is putting their hands in too much stuff? Do you think they only should focus on the console and everything like that and let the VR die? Just leave it alone and everything like that. Stop wasting our resources on that and put it into more AAA games, uh, better consoles, no, you know, got to. Living, up, living up to the future to. and everything like that. They ain't got to. The future is going to be VR anyway because a lot of cats that got the Oculus had that... Uh, that meta space, that meta world crap, they in there just buying uh-huh. stuff. That metaverse, bro, they in there just not even playing games. They in there just chilling. They're buying stuff. They got their own house. They got this. They're buying property. It's the metaverse. So if you're not even getting the Oculus to play games, you can get the Oculus to do that. That's the future of gaming and just in the VR. So PlayStation should not leave it alone. PlayStation should get with the program, make a dope ass VR. Japanese, they already 10 steps ahead of the game as far as technology, electronics. They always a step ahead of everybody when it's electronics and shit. So they can, they really can come out and make a VR that's off the chain. That's killing. They can okay. kill Oculus if they really want to. Now, now let, me you, let, let me ask you this. Let me ask you. See, because I like, I like how you said that. Now, hold, hold on. I'm going to let you go right now, Levi. I like how you said that, Diddy. But you said everybody in that world, they plan everything like that. Now, I'm just hearing, and all I'm hearing is damn. PlayStation did that. It might have not been in VR, but they had this game called PlayStation Home. And PlayStation Home was you had your avatar. You went there, spilled real money. You had houses. You had T-shirts, car. You, you had a lot of stuff. VR, you actually, you, you, you let, let, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. So they had that already. That's not VR, how you just said. But let's say they do the VR too, and they bring that back and make it better just like how the other one is he talking i don't know about that because i don't got it i'm never gonna buy it but what i'm saying is playstation playstation is like pioneers they try something first and another company seen that and was like oh we're gonna run with that you know what i'm saying because before oculus came there was other vrs that was out and i was like well we're gonna we're gonna we see what y'all doing we're gonna take it and we're gonna make it better we're gonna show you how it's supposed to be we got we're gonna Bro, get the billion dollar contract and we're gonna do it right you ask no, just leave it alone though like should they just leave it alone scrap it and that was a, yeah, that was a question they, i have for you that they they leave it alone, and then you gave me your reason why Stuff. Right, because they, 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 they stuff. That's gaming. VR is gaming, they tight. That's part of gaming. It's gonna be the future gaming for sure. So no, right, this shouldn't right. leave VR alone. They gonna keep. They okay. should keep it going. The way right. I look at it is this, right now they losing. That's all. Culture. They're already. Um, how do you say? Not secluded, but they're already comfortable with being alone and whatnot. The metaverse is for for loners essentially. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is why the Switch did, does so good in Japan. This is why the Vita does so good in Japan because it's, it's single player gaming. So the way I look at it is this. If it's if Sony is a, or PlayStation or whatnot, is a Japanese company, and Japanese people are naturally more secluded. You know what I'm saying? Naturally, I don't, I don't know how to word it properly. I don't want to say loners, but you know, they're more to themselves. Isolated, they self-isolated. Okay. I feel like the Vita is just is an easy, or not Vita, excuse me, the VR should be an easy task. If you're Bro. telling me I could design or have my own world, because what Jay Ty said was perfect, PlayStation Home already introduced us to that. However, they did not right. introduce that to us in VR. In VR. So the fact that mm-hmm. they got the technology already available to, I don't want to say copy, but let's just call it what it is, replicate or copy or be inspired by, honestly, this should be an easy thing for them. I don't see how they right. could mess it up. I don't, I don't see. See, I don't and, see and, and I agree with you, Levi. Just like not putting that much into it. You know, right. And that's the most beautiful thing that you said it because like it wasn't saying that PlayStation was doing to that was, was a question, but then after we started talking, I was like, Well, damn, if they took PlayStation home, which was big, a lot of people I love home, I played it a lot. I have friends actually people I actually met on PlayStation Home. And now they take that whole aspect, right? Bring it back, make it better, and then make that with the VR too. 
uh, I, th- I think they might be on to something, bro, because a lot of people missed that. Like, damn, I couldn't believe it was our money that was spent to that that you couldn't get back, and it was just leaving. That's it. That's all. Like, we saw we closed the servers down. So if they rebring it back, put it in the VR two, I think they could be on to something great, man. But we do got a question here, and let's. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's see what they talking about. Okay, good morning, Go Titty. Good morning, Levi. This is the Laird Region. We're talking PlayStation. Is this part of a many ongoing vlog series you guys talk about? Hmm. I will tell you now. What do you guys think about the new free tier system they're doing for PS5 uh, players? Uh, the free tier system. You can still buy PlayStation Plus, you can still buy PlayStation Now. But the third one, which is the most interesting one, it costs about 135, 45 bucks here in the UK. Basically, you've got access to all PlayStation, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation 4, and PlayStation 5 games for PS5 gamers. Do you think Sony are up to something? Hmm. Me too. I think they're up to something. The thing is, is <laughs> Sony will always compete against Microsoft. And the thing is, is as Bill Gates said when I first met him, that if he had made... I... Oh, I didn't finish the rest. Oh, he left right there. It, it didn't finish the rest, y'all. Um, he not here to answer this question, but I will say I'm excited for it. This is another way because here it is. The PS5 got plenty of games. You go inside GameStop, Walmart, Target, there's a lot of games. But it's not games that I preferably want to play. They're not AAA titles and everything like that. Like, that little kid, Ryan Racing, they got a PS5 game. It's a PS5 game, but I don't want to pay money for something like that. You know? Um, I just personally feel like the PlayStation Now, PlayStation Plus, with the 400 games in that extra tier that they give it for, it says 400 PS4 and PS5 games. I feel like it's going to be a lot of PS5 games that's not triple A titles. That's it's not going to be a lot of triple A titles in there because Sony already came out and said they're not doing that, you know. And uh, we went over that already. <laughs> His question was, but no. Good, though. yeah, he had a great, great, great question. I definitely, I definitely agree with that. Um, I mean, that's all I really have for tonight, y'all. I ain't really had nothing else to, you know, really. I feel like we hit on some good notes, man. I agree. Yeah, you there? Yeah, I'm here. I hear you. Oh. I hear you. Um, I'm a new, I'm a new version. What, what, what you, oh, you since you're here, uh, Levi, let me ask you a question. How do you feel about the days of play coming back? They're supposed to be starting tomorrow. It got a leak that it's going to happen tomorrow. Oh, really? so I was like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. They coming back. They coming back with like exclusives and shit. Like, are they giving this, like exclusive consoles and all of that there? Or so in the leak, it just said it was happening tomorrow with games. It didn't say what soft. I mean, what hardware is going to be that they doing but that's another thing every time a, a, a days of play came there has always been a special console that went that went with that thing do you think that they're going to put a ps5 with that thing or again like like we've talked about before do the name plates and everything like that no no i don't think okay. they're going to do that they just because they can barely produce the regular ps5 alone, right let alone drop an exclusive Right. That's why I was telling Jay yeah. Tyler the other night when we had this uh we talking PlayStation. If they they're not gonna drop no no special God of War PS five art edition with the art on it because you can barely get a regular one anyway. When that dude come out, no one's gonna no one's gonna get it. And if whoever does get it, they're gonna set it for a price that's so stupid, it's not gonna be worth even even trying to get it. It's not worth it. So if, until these places and fives is in everyone's homes, it's easy access. We ain't got to worry about hoarders hoarding them up, selling them for triple the price. That ain't coming out no time soon as far as no Clex edition. No time soon, bro. They know, man. They know this. They know that now everybody got a PS5. They know that these cats out there got like 50 PS5s in their living room just selling them for the crazy price. And people at home, like, fuck, man, I can't play PS5 because I can't get one. The Xbox, I'm selling because no one wants Xbox and they're available everywhere. You feel me? So that's just that's yeah. just that's just, that's just that's, that. that's, that's a marketing thing. So I, I kind of personally feel like what they should do for people who already have them, because again, they bold enough to say 19.2 million units were sold. That's not saying everybody in America got it or 19 million people got them, everything like that. But so I think it'd be more box. easier. I think it'd be easier for them to do custom. Well, PlayStation exclusive 
custom plates, you know what I'm saying, that go on the side of your PlayStation 4, your PlayStation 5, instead sold of doing out. a whole concert. Sold out, bro, I mean, sold out. It, it, it'll sell out it's and everything like that, of course, but not gonna you know you how are. we are. We was in line for the PlayStation Nikes that dropped. They sold out like that, but we got a pair. So instead of, you know what I'm saying, instead that of doing a whole concert because the box those got are popular, hard to come by, I would say just do the, if, if they want to, if they got the little extra money to just throw it, just throw it out there, do the plates, and that way it give everybody like me, you, Levi, all of us got one shit. I got two PS5s right now. So it'll give us a special reason to be like, damn, you know, I like this God of War. I like this Spider-Man one and everything like that. And I don't even think that'll cost them too much or nothing to do. That's true, but I still think on top of that, because not everybody, whoever got the PS5, these plates, these custom God of War or Horizon or Forspoken exclusive plates so separately from the PS5, you can buy and put on your PS5. Bro, them dugs, them mugs gonna sell out so fast that you're not even be able to, they're gonna sell them. They say if they only like uh, 50 bucks for this plate, bro, they're gonna sell them plates for like three, four hundred dollars. And they're gonna buy, and they, they know people want them. They're not going to sell it. The controller, see, the, see, in stores, all them purple, orange, blue, pink PS5 controllers is going to sit in these stores forever. No one's going to buy them because no one has a PS5. So they're going to sit there. And they ain't really like nothing. I was like, like a couple weeks ago. And all Bro. Just in there chilling. Eat any color you want to. But now, I got, now everybody got PS5, so they just going to ride out. Now, this, like I said, the custom plates with the exclusive... Uh, Plates on them, them shit's gonna be gone. They're tight, gone. They're not gonna sit on the shelf. They're gonna be gone. If you can't buy them in stores, you're gonna have to order them online because they want. They not gonna carry them because they gonna sell out. Somebody gonna come in and buy like all of them. How much? Oh, let me get all those and then flip them. All of those, yep. all mm -hmm. those, bro. So it's not. That's not gonna work either. <laughs> He's gotta wait some people be able to get a PS5. Everyone. Yeah, but you know, find, so find a way to block. That, that's, find a way to block. Find a way to block hoarders. I mean, uh, uh, bots. Because like some some companies like like, like Nike, they got a uh, like a uh, anti bot block where bots can't buy stuff. They get they letting people again start buying stuff or set it up to where it's one console or one uh, uh, plate per email per address. Yeah. So people can't buy a gang of them. Up, oh, that's one. I don't care if you got two. I don't care if you got you and your brother. One. They use another address. One, one, one. Yeah. one. Each email make it hard for people to get them shits. Yeah, but you know what? I will say this. It's kind of like when they came out with the PS4, the original PS4, when they did it like the PS1 and everything like that. We was at the I conference and everything like that, and it sold out like that, and it, it went crazy. But people was able to buy it. the PlayStation 4 Pro 500 million edition. I got one. Sold out like that. This, you know, what I'm saying the Spider-Man one, PS4. Uh, pro, you have that right now. Sold out like that. So my thing is, they still made it, knowing that it's gonna sell out. The white one that Levi had sold out. So they make so them. What they you don't sell is, out. As long as they get the what money, I'm saying is, it don't matter. If one man buy all of them. Make that space plate. I got money. I'll be in. I'll be online like I was for that PS5. Not pro everybody is you, J. Tight. Not everybody PS, got money. But, but no, just everybody not Scott Diddy, but you got that Spider-Man one when it first came out. That's different because it wasn't no box it's like when we got it's this. Still a PlayStation Bro, 4 no, Pro. It wasn't no box like edition. that. It's a little different because it's, those were still sold in stores. We were right. I, I that when that right. Came out. We had some different. Right. We had the box. Different. It was just a the, little different. I don't know why it's so different with the PS5 though. I want to say Sony, I want to say they got their hands in it on purpose. You know, like I get 19 million, but I'm thinking how many people are in the world? How many people live in the US alone? How many people live in California alone? And I'm thinking 19 million does not sound like a lot for some reason for this company to be as big and for gaming to be as big as it is. And I want right. to say they, they might be purposely delaying production and whatnot on them because it keeps people oh. wanting to come back and come back and come back and come back and get their time. It's tricking people into believing that, oh, I have to get this because it's so right. expensive, it's so rare. That's how the Nintendo Switch was. <laughs> the nigga Switch said it so fast. I said, man, did y'all make enough switches? Because they hard to get and <laughs> this is crazy. And this is before bots even got popular and, and hoarders even got popular. They were just they just trying to do what, what they doing. They're just making like like Levi well, said. I mean, I've been they in the buying and selling trade for a long time. I've been a buy I remember one time in my life, I didn't even have a job. All I was doing was buying and selling, buying and selling. And bots been out for a minute. 
So I'm not saying it's not like new, this. but like this. What, what I will say is this GameStop is purposely. I've called GameStop. I've ordered a PlayStation 5 on GameStop from a PlayStation 5 that I bought and it never came. And it was like, oh, don't worry about it. We just want to replace it. It's sending out like that. I said, how? When you guys don't even have none? What are you talking about? <laughs> they said, sir, we have a lot of PlayStation 5s in our factory, in our, where in our warehouse. We have a lot of PlayStation 5s in there. But GameStop is waiting to let the hype build up so they can do these bundles that cost eight nine hundred dollars because if regular people is already willing to pay somebody else that why not GameStop do the same thing and it's not illegal it's, we bought them from Sony now we're gonna this is how we're gonna distribute them if you want them you best be prepared to come give up seven anywhere from seven to eight hundred dollars almost down there close to nine after you get done with taxes so it ain't really I, I, I know for like a fact that. It's not really to come up because if you just buy the PS5, 8 game, 8 controllers separately and add them together, it's the same price. They're just trying to get rid of right. that. But a lot of people of, in the world don't games. got money like that to go spend uh, seven, eight hundred dollars and everything like that. Everybody not getting tight. We just said that. So they ain't got a lot of money to go spend is, seven, eight hundred dollars. Right. That, and, and, and that's crazy. That you have to have seven, eight hundred dollars, because I and and I'm just like, damn, that's that's so crazy. You know, my nephew called me. He was like, Jay, if you can get one, or if you know somebody who can, who got one for like four, five hundred dollars, let me know. I got everything else. I just need the console. And I was like, I don't know nobody who's gonna let the console go for regular price. Not even GameStop letting the console go for regular price. So I don't think nobody I know gonna do that. You know, but you I. It's what I like about tonight is what we talking about is it's crazy to sit here and think like damn if Sony would have priced them at instead of four ninety nine put them at six ninety nine it'll be a bunch of them still and you walk in the store to go grab them like yeah they still sitting there I'm gonna go buy those and now that they at a reasonable price it's it's just like is it really that rare it's crazy for something to be so rare. And as of right now, it don't have that many AAA titles out, but I know AAA titles are coming in the future. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's just like it's different. It's gonna be a lot of good things coming in the future for it. But oh yes. I honestly just think Sony they are purposely delaying production because I've never like, dude, we've been nigga. The damn uh, PS3 came out around the well, that was in 06. The recession was in 08. But they were still so they were still coming out with new editions of the PS3 with no problems. Mm-hmm. We've already been in certain pandemics in certain situations. I don't think I don't want to say COVID put that big of a delay on production with these consoles. I don't I don't want to say it. I just think it might be a time now where they're trying to capitalize as much as they humanly can with these bundles, with these come to our website, all the clicks, all the clicks, and all like that. It's all creating a mass hysteria. As opposed mm-hmm. to just going to GameStop and just simply just buying your one console, it's creating because before it is. Remember, GameStop was going out of business until Microsoft bought GameStop. I didn't know Microsoft bought GameStop. I didn't know that. Didn't oh yes, I know that. Oh yes, and yeah. could my thing is could even though it's Xbox, PlayStation, like that, but Xbox is owned by Sony. My, uh, I mean. PlayStation is owned by Sony. Xbox is owned by Microsoft. Microsoft is already paying the extra money to have those chips that you need for the systems. They pay them the extra price for priority so they can be first behind a console. Could they be telling GameStop, hey, this is how you're going to sell this bundle in here? Because they, they could be doing that. You know, and it, it's only winning for Sony because, hey, we don't care, whatever, you know. But still, it's like, you always got to think about who what's really at play. Yeah, I don't doubt that they got some sort of hand in, you know, like the bundles and whatnot, because I'm, I'm pretty sure games will it's obvious, right? Wouldn't GameStop be buying the consoles at a certain price and then selling them at a certain price and then mm-hmm. bundling shit together? Because I don't think they've ever just sold a PS5 just to sell a PS5. Maybe day one. Right when you can yeah. pre-order them, you can just just pre-order the system. But since then, I don't I don't know of anybody that got their PS5 with nothing else, just the PlayStation. I don't know of not one person. Jay, I didn't get mine from you without the bundle. Right? You even bought the bundle. You showed me the receipt. They was only selling. The bundle. They wasn't even showing. They wasn't even uh, selling just the console. No, nope. they was only selling the bundle. Like that. Only get his with a bundle. I don't know anybody of 
today's era, I'm saying today's era as if the PS5 came out eons ago, but nobody's getting that console without a bundle. It's just as simple as that. You're you're going to oh, yeah. be buying it with a controller, extra games or whatever. It's kind of stupid, yeah, because some people don't want them games, but I mean, hey, it is what it is. Right. At least well, one is. person told me, at least I, I'll still get it and I can't return the games because they still have to return a whole bundle. But at least I can trade those games in and get some extra trading credit or get some money for them and then keep pushing. Right. Right. We'll but see. That's, I still think uh-huh. they're going to be very hard to get. I don't I don't think this is going to change. I think people should get used to this being the norm. If this is how you're going to get a console. You're going to get it secondhand or you're going to look up and order one online. You better be ready as soon as them. Sh- I mean, literally already cart loaded, information loaded. You better mm-hmm. be ready as soon as they become available because this is just going to be the norm. My big brother, now, do you think- one, but he's not getting one because he don't want to buy the bundle. And, you know, he's not too online like that. You know, he think he's going to walk into a store and get one. Nah, that ain't about to happen. Not yeah, not no time soon. Do you think the reason why they doing this is well? Let me reword that. The cell phone game, right? One person put out a price, it go up. This person put out a price to match it. So now we got phones that cost two thousand dollars. Yeah, they you know first they did that. Now they starting to bring phones down, everything like that. Do you think that GameStop started something to make Target and Walmart hey? We're going to sell them at a bundle. This is going to be the new normal price. I'm going like no. the foreseeable future. I'm going to say no, only because you can still get an Xbox at Target. Both editions of the Xbox, any edition of Switch, without there being a bundle. I just think Sony understood, right? Xbox's player base is larger than Sony's. I hate to say it, but it just it just is. Like, they don't have better games but they have more people on their console because their consoles, one, are easy to get, right? Easy to get. And coming off the steam of that 360, man, coming off the steam of that 360 is just, it's unbeatable, right? So they got already got mm-hmm. a huge player base. And not only that, between PC and Xbox, you can, everybody can play, right? Like we can do that now with some PS4 people, but it's not the same as like, okay, I'm completely on my PC, you on your Xbox, and here we are gaming together. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. that's damn near two, almost, almost two different ecosystems. But I mean, they're basically, they're basically the same thing, damn near. But um, I just don't, I, I don't think the bundle thing should continue. But they're not going to put them in stores. They're not going to put them in stores for whatever reason. And I don't know why. I mean. <laughs> Obviously, me not owning a company, I'm thinking like, well, why don't they just send a million to one target or a million to one Best Buy or whatever the case is? You know, I'm sure there's a reason they won't do that. But this hysteria was not like this when the PS2 came out. It wasn't like this when the PS3 came out. It wasn't like this when the PS4 came out. I don't mm-hmm. know what the difference is now. I don't know. I don't know if, if the technology is so good inside of it, like the chips and all of that, to the point where these bots, man, these bots, these bots are the serious. Bots, I, say, I know it's the bots. That's bots right. the are bots serious, man. I want to say it's really their the bots are ruining. They were on a shoe game, the the game, the game, the video game, game, the every whatever is popular. They even had the fucking Travis Scott Big Mac bro for like a hundred and fifty dollars for like the receipt, like that's that's stupid crazy. shit. People yeah. buying it. So all the takers of celebrity or somebody that says hot or some shit like that and it blows up and go crazy or somebody to take it and say what it is and they'll just put that shit on eBay. They sold the X, uh, a PlayStation 5, uh, uh, the box empty, bro, for like $300. Somebody bought the damn box. Empty. No one knows empty. Some shit like that. So uh, it's just like the game different. This generation a little different. So back in the day, it wasn't bots like this. Now that these bots are able to buy up everything, all consumers got to do, all, well, not even consumers, all cats got to do that selling these consoles is be like, look, like I said earlier, we got the systems, but it's one or two consoles per household. Straight up like that. It's 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 just one one email or two email or one email and it's two per household. You can't go beyond two. I don't care what company you unless you Walmart, unless you Target, unless you GameStop, unless you Best Buy. You can buy a gang of them, but the people inside they can't sell them and flip them and 
they can't. They just won't let you do it. They'll they'll make it to where everybody get a console because everybody gonna pay for it. Cause people have money to pay for it. Not everybody don't got the money, but a lot of cats got money. A lot of people don't got money. But the people that save up, saving their money, saving their checks to get this PS. Like you know what? These two checks is going to the PS5. So they come out. I got my money ready. People save up for it. But when these bots came and tore the whole everything up, like I said, shoe game and everything game, bro. Jordans is no longer. 150 them shits going for like a thousand dollars twelve hundred dollars just this retarded prices right hey, yo, now bro, bro. Hey, yo, bro why do you think that i had to wait for my ps hey, yo, bro why do you think that but, but every time i every time i tell somebody how i got my ps5 i said i was very lucky because it, 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 it's my mom you were very lucky you were the, you the lucky food bro not everybody lucky <laughs> Bro, listen, bro, listen. If my mom didn't go do that shopping center right where that game stuff was, and, and, and if she didn't see that line, because I, 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 because bro, I wasn't even paying attention to it at the time. If she didn't notice it and call me out on it, I would not have a PS5 right now. Seriously. That's cool. You probably have one. You'd be paying like a thousand dollars. That's all. How yeah, bad nah, you want? Like, nah, you really nah, want that bad? Like, nah, nah, nah. I paid around like seven thirty. No, I'm saying, but you still will pay the Yeah. I mean, I'll be thinking hey, like I'll be thinking like uh GOAT and StockX and shit. They got bots, I believe they be online buying a gang of PS5s up and trying to sell them back to you. You can get the PS5 right now, dude. StockX for like six like eight hundred dollars, but you could we do afterpay, so you can just make a monthly payment like sixty bucks a month for like two years and shit, and it's yours right now. <laughs> so, you know, flipping guitar like that. What, what your PlayStation name? Mine's is a, a, a Sky Diddy, twenty three, Agile Boy. I don't play uh, I don't play sports games. I don't play Call of Duty. I'm all solo player. Sky Diddy. Mine is Sky Diddy too. Yeah, Sky Diddy. S K Y D I D D Y, twenty three, like Diddy Kong. Yeah. I play Destiny, One Piece games. I'm biased. Oh yeah, Wale, Wale Neller, Force One. Hopefully they put yeah. these shits all in store though. It'd be nice if everybody had them. But your other right. mm-hmm. Who's the other dude? The one? Who's the other dude? Oh yeah, uh, mine is J Tight Baby Tooth. J T I G H T. B A B Y T O O T H J type baby two. Boys, right here. Because I, really baby 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 I really got a baby two. I'm not even playing. <laughs> <laughs> you let you had a question. You had uh you had sent in. I'm gonna play it while you added the names. Oh, no 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 no. See you talking. Like. Yes, he does all of them. What's good? I see you're talking places again. Do you mind if I join up or whatever? Oh, yeah, you already yeah, answered that, <laughs> answer that question. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and, and jump in. <laughs> <laughs> you already hey, in it. You already in it. Hey, we, hey, we, hey, let me ask you something, J Tight. Hey, mm-hmm. All right, so I'm noticing that a lot of your games are just like duplicates. Are like they like on like different accounts or is this like on the same system? Same system. I mean, no. Is it on like the PSV Vita, PS3 that you're doing? That's all I want. For. You must be talking about that 190 platinum trophies. Oh uh, yeah, and, uh, and yeah, and um, there's a bunch of. I don't know why you ha- have a bunch of games that that are like the the pig, the pig, the cow, the like the. Chick, told you, Jay Tight. <laughs> told your ass. You thought you were sweet. So nigga. here, I so here you we go. <laughs> so here we go. I hey. am a trophy hunter. So a lot of those games, they be like dirt cheap, bro. Like ninety nine cent, fifty cent, forty nine cent, a dollar fifty, right? <laughs> so you can buy the PS five version and turn around and get the and buy the PS four version for like a dollar fifty. So. Um, I used to be like, oh, I got to get all the triple A's and all that stuff like that. But I'm like, damn, I'm over here sweating, looking at a guy, trying to find collectibles, doing this. Also enjoying the story of the games. But I realized I'm spending 10 hours to do this, 15 hours to do this. And that same amount of 10 hours that I'm going to spend, that game cost me 60 something dollars. I can go get 100, tro- 100 platinums for that same price and in less time so when you start thinking about it 
when, when you start when, when you really sit here and you think about these trophies and everything like that i'm like damn i can increase my level i don't gotta spend a whole bunch of money to increase my level and i can really only buy the games i want to really buy and i people still give me acknowledge like damn that's not bad you got a hundred some trophies but what's these games oh yeah you might want to go get these i ain't the only i ain't the only guy with these games so it's a lot of you yeah, with these games games too Yep, I got some of them games too. Thanks to Jay Ty, it was too good to be true, so I tried it. But on top of that what? note, I do buy yeah, games, man. AAA games, bro. I be thinking some of them games I really, really, really like. I love, bro. Like I'm a One Piece fan. That One Piece Power of Four, that was a hard platinum, but I didn't give a fuck because that game was so dope. I had to get it. God of War, oh, the last one came on PS4. That shit was so dope. I had to get the platinum. Days Gone, that shit was so dope. I had to get the platinum. Last of Us Two, that shit was so good to me. I had to get the platinum. These games I really, really like, and I play them. Yeah, and that's yeah, what yeah. I love about it too. It's like I got some hard platinum. Like one of my favorite platinums, I got my favorite game of all time, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. That's a hard ass platinum. Hell yeah. Another one of my favorite games are like uh Splatterhouse on a PS3. I went and bought a PS3 and I bought Splatterhouse off of eBay just so I can get that platinum. Cause I was like, you know what? I'm back on my trophy stuff, so I want to go get some games that I really enjoy playing. So, um, but it's like a lot of games that's on the PS3 now, like sometimes the online stuff don't work like that, or it's not a lot of people playing. So like Uncharted 2, it's some multiplayer trophies on PS3. I, I can't get the platinum on that because it's, people ain't playing it like that. I um, can't, I can't multiple with uh, influence again. I'm only one trophy sort of again now. Okay, like, hold on, Lisa AJ, hold on. Now, I gotta tell you this. There's some of my, all right, so there's some of my platinum trophies. Mind you, mind you, I only, I only have like four platinum trophies, but like, but, I, but I'm proud of them. But I'm trying to just like redo some of them again. Like, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm like, for instance, like, bro, you should have Ghost of Tsushima the platinum already. That that's, that's nigga, that game is boring to me, bro. I'm crazy. just keeping it hundred. People can sit here that's and say crazy. That game good. good. I'm gonna keep it one hundred. It's like playing Red Dead Redemption, and I'm running on the hard. It's open world. <laughs> I'm just like, what? And what is no this? Like, I don't. And there's no skipping, right? I'm just like, oh my goodness! I can't skip these long ass cutscenes. This is boring. So I, I got the game. I have it. I can go play right now. And I'm, I was trying to play to get the platinum, and it just was like. This isn't fun for me anymore. I don't want to run around and ride a horse and gallop and everything like that. I don't want to do that. Yeah, That's not fun to me. You know what's fun? Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank is better than that to me. I like Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart on a PS5 more than I like Ghost of Tsushima more than I like Horizon. You know, I'm just keeping it on. I'm gonna get that game back though. It looks really pretty. I'm gonna get it back. I got the Padma. I got the Padma Ghost. I got the Padma. All the places in five games. Like the games I'm working on right now, you could probably help me out because I can see that you haven't completed um, Returnal yet or Sifu. And Sifu, I oh, no, this game is hard, bro. But I like them games though. But I've been playing them. I went back and started playing Outrider because I bought it and I was like, oh, snaps. It's a play. It's not. A, I don't know if it's on Xbox or anything. I don't know, but it's not a AAA PlayStation title. But it's on but the PlayStation know, Five, and it was, and it's an easy platinum. But you know, I noticed on here, I I, I don't see any, I, I don't see any Dark Souls titles. Cause I get Them games are hard as hell. It is <laughs> more. I'm not. I see my homeboy play, bro. Like I was watching his live stream. He died 49 times in bro, 10 hours. That's, so and I, <laughs> that's not the whole point. I don't want to play a game and keep. I don't want to play a game to die. I don't want to play the game to die. I'm just keeping it. I don't want to play the game like. Well, I'm not going to beat him, but I'm going to try. I waste 10 hours of my life trying to beat this one level one boss and I can't beat the other bosses. I can go get a thousand trophies in 10 hours for a dollar fifty. Stop playing with me. I mean, I'm all right, but I can't tell you this. You almost got the platinum for Avengers. Now, I'm going to give you props on that one because a lot of this shit. I'm still playing it, man. It's so damn glitch. I deleted the game. I'm restarting all or from scratch because I really want that platinum because I've been wasting a lot of money in this game. Like, I'm not even playing the Hawk, my favorite character. I got a maxed out. And in the uh, trophies are cross. So it's half and half. So I'm like, oh, hell yeah. I can beat it on the four and then just put my save data on the five and I get the platinum. Yeah. And, and, the and now, 
I will say this, if you since you're looking at my account, if you look at my old account, now that account had the real true platinums. Little Big Planet One, hardest game ever to be platinum. I got that platinum. Heavy Rain, 18 different engines. I got that platinum. But I lost my account. So none of those people like say, Joe, that Jay, that don't really matter. It matters to me because that was my account. And that yeah, and that account exists. The ending 18 times the heavy rain though. How did you do that? Oh, I'll use the uh, strategy guide, bro. So when I got to a part, they told me to save here, and then you're gonna pick this round and pick that round, bro. It was, it it was tight. That game is amazing. Heavy Rain is fantastic. Uh, yeah, search up my other account so you can see those trophies. It's J with a what minus sign, and then T I G H T. Do what? It's just J tight. So J. Then they got a minus sign. T I G H T. You gonna see like a little just dance avatar with his hand up in the air? Yeah, I thought that was Michael Jackson. So I was like, oh, it's like a Michael Jackson pose. I need this avatar. Mm -hmm. Oh, so eighty-three platinums. Hmm. Eighty-nine platinums. And if you go through that list, you're gonna see some real like, damn, he mm -hmm. got some real. So I had triple A games. I had triple A platinums, but when I lost my account and everything like that. It was just some just said, nah, this ain't for me. And then I was just like, you know, I'm gonna restart it back up. And then I just I I found the diamond in the rough. Mm -hmm. You found them two dollar platinums. Oh, 29 cent, a 99 cent. I got a couple of 99 cent ones. I got four platinums. I'm gonna get in under five minutes tonight before I go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Weakened. <laughs> like I said, I'm gonna be 49 before I go to sleep. Sheesh. Louise. The head is... I, all I want to know is how in the hell did you platinum on DC, DC, on, on DC Online? Because I paid money for that three month subscription and I was like, guess what? I'm not gonna let my money go to waste. So I grind. And then when the PS4 came out, it carried over everything from PS3 carried over to the PS4. So all I did is start the game up and trophies were just ran. Ding, 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 ding. I was like, I hit the jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, yeah, yeah. You know, I was like, yeah. DC, DC runs online. I was a hard ass pilot. God damn. I was, I you, had to, like you had to play with every Different. character in the game. Twice, nigga. Like in the story <laughs> mode, twice. Now I can tell I can tell you this. The game that you put your heart and soul in and like in, in, in the game that could have literally killed you was a dancing game that took you three years just to platinum. Which one was that? What do you mean? <laughs> the game was called like the game was called Everybody Dance. Oh yeah, yeah. That was I, yeah. I play <laughs> I play I played all kind of games like that, so and you played the sequel after that. Everybody's doing this digitally. Damn, I can't believe I was one trophy from platinum fucking kill strand, and that shit is no longer available ever. Oh, I'm dead. There was a game me uh, I worked on at Sony San Diego Studios after the tester for like two years or some shit like that. Oh. And I was one trophy from in the fucking servers crash, and they just. Cut the game off the servers. I was one trophy. I'm sick looking at this fucking game. Like, ah, slide up my bitch. Yo, tell me when is Ragnarok coming out, bro? Ragnarok 2023. No, it's not. Yep. Yeah, yeah I got it. It acts too. It needs to be yeah, a game of the year. I don't think it's going to be, gonna be Elden Rings, man. It's not beating other ring. It's not beating other ring. That's gonna win for sure. All, all, all God of War gonna do is get best places in the game, and that ain't good enough for me. That ain't good enough for me. Ain't good enough for me, bro. Dog. I platinum twisted metal black. <laughs> We're not platinum black. All the trophies. I got a hundred percent, but it wasn't no platinum. No, no, no. But like this, when that fuck it. Oh my god, I mean, bro, you had to be embarrassed. You platinum that Green Lantern game? Nigga, that shit was fun, bro. I don't care what nobody say. Green Body Lantern, time, and I did uh, Thor. Montana, nigga. And, no, Danger. I don't have Hannah Montana on it. You go to my whole list, you ain't gonna see no Hannah Montana. Don't try to play me right now. <laughs> I was asking, nigga, that's an easy platinum shit. That's easy, all right, let's beat the game. Yeah, but I'm at the time, though, I wasn't into easy platinums like that. I wanted real AAA platinums. Like, I wanted, like, nah, I need this. We need mm -hmm. Wait, 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 hold on. Kick-Ass was a game? What the hell? Yeah. 
Crash game. This, wait, 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 hold on. Let me see the dates on these. Oh, this is back in 2013. Like where they were just in, 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 in movie titles with the game. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised that you haven't played on Dragon Ball Z Kakarot yet. I just picked it back up and started playing. Boring. It was between Kakarot and Fighter Z, and since I already watched and played Kakarot through like every Dragon Ball Z game that was ever made, I, I chose Fighter Z. Punch time explosion, yo! This is the one. Of the, this is one of the OG like battle royales. Cartoon Network Punch Royale. I mean, mm-hmm. Let me tell you what is a part of I ain't gonna never ever get again. Def Jam Rap Stars. What? Man, that was a fun little karaoke game. <laughs> Man, now I'm looking at this. I'm mad. I'm not going. I'm gonna tell you what titles I'm not going to get no more because the servers are gone. Resistance two. Damn. That was my first platinum. That game was so beautiful. 40, 40 people online, man. It was fantastic. Hold on, wait a second, hold on. One of you guys has to tell me, do you guys have a multiplayer, I mean, have a multi versus code or anything? I want to play that game so bad, bro. Should I wait? But I don't have the code, though. I wish. <laughs> if I had the code, I'd give it up. That's a trash. But it's a free to play though, so I'm happy about that. Yeah, it's free to play, so I like the fact that it's free. I wish I wish Nickelodeon All Souls was free to play. That shit, Carbides too. God damn, no. the game sucks. Comes out, game comes out. I'm gonna, bro, as soon as that right. game comes out, I'm gonna be goaded. Oh, I'm mm-hmm. having Breath of the Wild. I don't even know that. I forgot. Mm-hmm. Like it's crazy how we just talking about PlayStation. We went from this, 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 to now we just looking at trophies. So I feel like this era, I really went crazy. So I'm gonna just say I'm out. I got Tekken Six, Modern Warfare Two, uh, God of War Three. I got Dead Space, God of War, God of War Two, Dante's Inferno, Infamous. Oh uh, man, I went crazy for Platinums right there. That that was just a hot list of games. Oh wait, 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 wait hold on. Killzone Three had its own separate multiplayer trophy. Man, Killzone Three, the game. I, I, I love Killzone Three; it's the best one in the whole story. Killzone Three had the game platinum, and then they came out with just a multiplayer version of it, and that had a platinum. So I was like, "What? Let's go!" <laughs> I'm really Man. surprised. surprises that you haven't tried to platinum any New Orleans. That's a, I, I, I got to go back and play it. I actually have it. I just. Again, a lot of these games take a lot of time. Sly Cooper one that time. takes time. If you remember, I told you a lot of these games. Where I'm at now is like I now because they, these are like in the PS3 era. A lot of these games are kind of hard to find, and then I don't want to pay a jacked up. I don't want to right. I don't want to pay a jacked up price to pay it to play it. So it's like man, a lot of them. Sometimes some games the servers are gone and you can't get you can't get the platinum no more because the servers is gone or they took the game away. So it, it, that that's hard. Like I can't get the platinum no more in Resistance Three because the servers are gone. Within like probably like a week. Bro, I'm one trophy from platinum the first Infamous. I'm sick. Well, oh, here's your chance in a few weeks when this service drops. Mm-hmm. You're right. Complete all the stunts on the stunt list. That's all I got to do. That shit is hard as fuck. <laughs> How did you do... Oh, okay, never mind. Because you plan on Red Dead. You didn't plan on Red Dead 2 yet. No, uh... Again, those games take time. I was heavy into gaming at the time, and I had time. I still I got time now. It's just... So I got time, guys. Sorry. I got time now. These games are boring to me, man. I'm gonna just keep it 100. Like a lot of them games, like that. Like I just really started as I got older. I started figuring out games. Like damn, I'm older now. I got real bills. Light gas, water, trash. Hmm. These some real bills. I don't think I want to be just buying every game that come out and everything like that. So I buy every dollar fifty game that come out or ninety nine cent game. <laughs> Nigga, it's hilarious clowning for that one. Um, <laughs> oh, oh dead man. space oh i'm only oh, i'm only like two trophies and platinum this shit too what mm-hmm. only a two trophies nigga in dead spaces i got the platinum oh, oh, three trophies. Oh, fuck. 
I can't. That's why I said when that remaster, no, that remake come out, oh, I'm platinum in that. That game was fantastic. You know, it's the what suckiest, game? boring game to ever play. What game? This is when Legos had no words. Lego Harry Potter year five and seven. It was I'll so boring. I beat that. Show sure, dog. I like it. That's fine. Uh, prototype 2 was fantastic, and the Amazing Spider Man was a good platinum, too. You should really try to platinum Deathloop. Mm. I'm gonna wait till Deathloop comes to this PlayStation uh, little service and everything like that. That's why I said it's a lot of games. I don't buy all the PlayStation games like that, but since it's 400 of them things, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a lot of easy platinum. So. Oh, it'll like, it'll just, it'll God, did he? It'll just, like, you still play Returnal, right? Every blue moon, yeah. Bro, Not as much that, as I used to. Dude, that it got like multiplayer now, right? Yeah, yeah. Me and Jay Tyler playing every for a little bit. Mm-hmm. We gotta get on that, man. She about to be I'm done with the story pretty soon. Okay, let me know. We need some help. I'm just on with you. Bro, yeah, Return it was kind of hard for me to play. I said, I just don't get it. I mean, the story's not that interesting for it to be that hard of a game. And it's really story not even hard. hard. The, the hardest yeah. thing about that game is literally just starting all over. Like, that's definitely not the hard, like physically hard, but definitely not the hardest. No, it's when you, bro, <laughs> you be on a good mission. That shit is so fucking annoying. Like, bro, this makes me not want to play it. Yep. Yeah, man, that shit is crazy. It's like, damn, it's I just gotta keep, 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 keep starting over. God, yeah, the story is uh, retarded. You don't keep none of your gear. You don't you keep none of your gear, and you start all the way over, bro. I mean, I mean, what you do keep some of your gear. You, you, you keep your sword. You, you like you keep some of them the abilities. That stuff is in there by default. The sword is in there. Once you unlock it and everything, it ain't going there. The dash that you get, that's that's unlocked by default. I want my hollow seeker. I want my health bar to be all the way back up like I had it. I yeah. want my I want my relics and stuff back. Like, man, it, it, it really sucks, bro. Like, oh my goodness. That's why, like, when I play, before I even go to world two, because I know world one's so good, I form world one for all the health packs the good guns i make sure when i'm killing these monsters my accuracy is up because that's how you get better guns and they're just like oh my goodness like yeah yeah they ain't they had no business making that game like that but mm -hmm. yeah, that will probably redownload it i don't know i don't know i still got ps4 games that would be like days on trash ass game but i'm gonna beat it though. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, uh, get him, hold get on. him, because we're talking PlayStation right now. Hold on, bro. The, the beginning is low key slow, but that game go crazy when you start when you start getting into it. It go crazy. The day is gone. Know zombies could ever be oh, yeah. boring. Huh? I didn't know zombies could ever be boring. I just think I have a problem with the main character. He's just kind of whack. I don't know. He be talking to himself. And my boy Saint, my boy, uh, what's that nigga name? Southern Bro, Saint, Saint John or some shit. Deacon or something, the nigga crazy. Deacon Saint John. Bro, Leroy, you would, bro, if you saw a whole horror of zombies and you had to do all that shit, by, bro, I mean, uh, oh, all right, just put yourself in his shoes. Would you be like, oh shit, what the fuck? Oh god, I was made out of there. Shit. Oh, nah, God. I watched The Walking Dead. <laughs> that nigga said. Encounter than that. Nah, they just going just whack. That's all. <laughs> it's just kind of whack. I mean, it the ain't, story, it ain't horrible. The story whack in the beginning, but I ain't gonna hold. It start going crazy though. It start going crazy. Going is better than Horizon. Nah. No, that's that's, right. a, that's a part two is better than fucking Horizon. Horizon. I, ain't part. I have part two and I'm still trying to beat that too, but they just make it so hard with this dry ass story and this dry ass gameplay. Hey, again, like you could probably challenge yourselves. Play Shadow of the Colossus. I got that game. It's hard. Yeah, it's hard. But I, don't feel like, I don't feel like playing. I'm not in the mood for that shit. I'm not in the mood for that. So listen, here's the, here's the thing. Complete the game on hard mode under five hours, second, and forty-one minutes and twenty-eight seconds. That's one of them. Like the truth. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not much of a 
much of a I'm not a trophy hunter anyways I'm not either I just get if it's a game I really love 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 I go and get every trophy on the game like One Piece One Piece uh, uh, Power Warriors 4 man that shit is all Levi if you played that game boy that game is so dope you don't want the platinum on that shit and it's I want to play those but I'm not far enough in the story I just barely I'm talking I'm on episode one of the time skip Oh, I you got a hoodie. Okay. No, no, no. They got to do that. Yeah, they're going back. Yeah, they're going back. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're going back to, to get it in with these world government niggas. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, shit. Yeah. I mean, you know Big Mama is. You know Kyra is, right? I do know Big Mama, but I don't know. Because I know she the cake lady, ain't she? Don't she like cake or something? Okay, yeah. Never mind. Don't, don't, don't. Yeah, just go and get caught up first. I ain't going. Okay. <laughs> go ahead and uh, enjoy that. And, uh, then go back and get that power as four, bro. You're gonna really appreciate it. Right now, I'm playing One Piece World Seeker. Nigga, this game is it has nothing to do with the canon. It's not canon, it's a it's a it's a filler. But this shit dope though. So you can it's like it's pretty much Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, but One Piece. Open world, oh. one round of 50. Fucking Yo, powering the character up and up. Uh, Yo, but I thought of your mind. She I swear, like I, 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 I'll give him mad props. He platinums the like the GTA games. I'm like, bro, yeah, that was a real gaming. Yeah, he was a real gaming, but he got kids and shit like that, so it's hard for him to get a crack on like he used to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he got games. Like right now, the games that I'm trying to complete, like I'm like right now, I am trying to re like I'm like right now, I am trying to re platinum um, Marvel Marvel some Spider Man for the PS5 now, and I'm. I'm so that was a fun platinum. That was a fun so platinum. Yes, that is. That, that yes. made me cry. Yeah. Bro, I got it. Bro, first no, came out. No, yeah, Amazing yeah. Spider Man. Yeah, my nigga's a bum. Living on the streets. I said, no, Spider Man, no. My nigga <laughs> going through it. This is the real Spider Man. I love this nigga. This shit <laughs> fucked up. This nigga in the Dito. Damn near. <laughs> yeah, but, wow, yeah, but there you go. Always saying hey. something slick. Hey, fuck the Dino. You and you and uh you and boss anyway, nigga. Fuck it. But when there you go, always, I don't know what he talking about. Always saying so slick, y'all. Hey, we gonna end it right here. This your boy J Sky Diddy, and this is we talking PlayStation. How you gonna say your name and my name, fool? <laughs> <laughs> that you, you always saying so slick. You, you always saying you go. Always saying so nah. slick. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we ain't gonna end it, but y'all, we gonna end it. We talking PlayStation part. I'm gonna stay on here and everything like that. So now we can just have free roam to talk. Cause when I re put this up, I'm gonna cut some part out and everything like that. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm tired of telling you this. Player, player from the Himalayas. I'm gonna need you to stop talking about San Bernardino like Fontana. Not bad. <laughs> San Bernardino <laughs> is Raccoon City in Resident Evil. They get zombies <laughs> out right now. Chewing everything down at ten forty eight tonight. <laughs> you and I'm I lying or not, nigga? I'm cool. I don't know. Nigga. I, don't, I, don't know. <laughs> I know. You know. You know, nigga. You don't want to know. Niggas under a bridge, just acting wild. Acting a fool. I'm going to wait until you. I'm cool. Huh? I said, let me get your thoughts on Island Week Two. I'm not fucking with Alan Wake. That was an Xbox game, so you, I ain't got no comment. Oh, <laughs> Xbox game, dog, can't do it. I'm not even gonna mess with uh, Alan Wake. It's on PlayStation. It is now, but I'm not sure about that. I don't feel like playing a game. I'm not that. I'm an action adventure style kind of guy. I'm not into too many mysteries and shit like that. You know what I mean? Yo, yo, Levi, did you hear what he just said? Yeah, he he wild. <laughs> he said what? he's a. He said he's an action adventure game guy. Why did you play Ghost of Tsushima? That shit was so boring. That was action adventure. You're tripping. That was action adventure. When you master your samurai, you got some moves on your belt, my boy. I'm into I'm in the uh, old school martial arts, kung fu, theater, shit like that. So I appreciated his game because I can relate to that shit. You know what I mean? Okay. That's all. Okay. Okay. Goddamn. <laughs> I ain't lying. I'm not lying. Now that's it's not whack. It's not whack, bro. It's dope. It's a good story. But indeed, it is Trout Sifu. Too. Huh? Trout Sifu. Oh yeah, I'm gonna jump on Sifu. I'm still playing that track to new me right now. Oh 
for the union. Kind of overrated a little bit, but it's it's, it's, it's Trek to Yumi. Let me just say, is Trek to Yumi just a side scroller? Yeah, know what that game is. Yeah, but yeah, that game is hard though, bro. It's a PS5 exclusive, and that game is tight. And it's an indie, and that was a great indie. It does, does it have a platinum? Good question. Hold on. It should have a platinum. No, a lot of indies don't have platinum. But I think that one got a platinum. I think. I'm just. I'm only guessing. It's a hard <laughs> ass level. What the fuck? I want to go. I be replaying. Might not actually platinum it. I might. Pl- I might just accidentally platinum SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Remastered. Yeah, I, I got that too. I, bu- I actually bought that game. I never played it. I, I bought it for the statue. Play that shit, man. Stop lying. <laughs> well, I bought. I bought that, it for the statues. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't buy it. I wow. buy. I'm gonna keep it I buy a lot of stuff for statues. I bought the new uh, Gotham Knight. I bought it because I wanted that statue. That that statue was, that had Batwoman, uh, Robin, Red Hood, and Nightwing. Yeah, that statue was hard. What is it? Oh, hey, did you see Morbius? I didn't see Morbius yet. Did you see Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers though? Bro, that oh might be one God. of the best you movies of the year. I watched Ready Player One with all the nostalgics that was in the movie, man. Ready Player One, like, bro, bro. Oh. But it had all the cameos and it was hilarious. Bro. That was awesome. Was Sonic Dog Two that was. And I loved bro. it how they had the knock off Sonic with the fucked up teeth. <laughs> oh, Ugly Sonic had me screaming. It is all oh, he had me screaming. No, yeah. Oh, it, bro. It, it don't fucking just replace me. They all know what up. Huh? They were like, yeah, man, yeah, man. They done just, they were like, yeah, man. Right when they first saw me, they, they just fucking checked out. I was done. Mm-hmm. Yo. Jay, y'all out. What up, what up, what up? What's up, dogs? Man, ain't nothing here. We just talking PlayStation, you know what I'm saying? We talking PlayStation. <laughs> We oh, was. Yeah. We we we, we done now. Playing, we talking everything. I was playing the little uh the, the new monarch thing they got on uh Warzone. I don't really play it like uh what color do you think? Do you like, think the fight Godzilla and, 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 and King Kong? Yes, bro, get, nigga, yes. Bro, bro, yeah, they bro, no. bro, I'm going get downward killed. then because I wanna play before I leave. Bro, you get kill streaks, that that's all you get. Kill streaks just by shooting both of them. Yeah, you, and it's not like you can you can kill either one of them. I thought you could knock one of their heads off or something like that. No. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> you little humans ain't fuck with King Kong. So that's super it's all about AI God, really. It's all about No, it's all about King Kong. Stop it. That's why Stop he got bodies in the movie. He ain't got body. That's some, that's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> King Kong about a nobody. Nigga, Godzilla get whooped on that big fat old nigga. That nigga, King Kong, a, a nigga. Hands, he got skills, all that. This nigga Godzilla only got tail and fire breath. Ain't no way King Kong should lost to that nigga. I don't give a fuck what I'm saying. Wait, King Kong? Wait, I'm sorry, I came back too late. What happened? I did this nigga Jay Ty nah, said we... Godzilla makes King Kong. I said, hell no, nigga. Ooh, King Kong is a nigga. He got hands. Nah. He, he, he can fight. Hands yeah, and feet. Put that strong as hell. Said, nigga, do Look, something. If you, if Stop. King Kong said, you know what? Cat. I'm tired. That was a cat, bro. I'm t- that was a cat. It don't matter. That was a cat, bro. <laughs> If you come home, almost died. If you come home, almost died. Both of them, both of them was like, man, you got it, man. I don't even want to fight no more, man. We don't yeah, already paint this other guy. Like it, it was like, we don't paint this other guy. I, mean, I don't even want to fight you no more. Yeah, that's not supposed this. to be man. Mega they made Godzilla like for the body, Godzilla. Mega Godzilla for the body. Now we about to finish him. <laughs> King Kong did come save today. <laughs> that was some bullshit. That was some bullshit. They made that movie to work King 